We got to tell you about what's coming. Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Perlman, your, your forecaster here at 12 o'clock, and this is what it's going to look like tomorrow across areas of Kern County and down south. This is going to be a hashtag windy Wednesday, and that's really the, the trend. I, I encourage everybody, if you can, share that on social media, how strong the winds will be. Use that as your hashtag, because there's a system that's going to be dropping out of the north, and as that does, we're going to see this create the strong Santa Ana winds down in Southern California. So we get this northeasterly push, and which is cold, might I add, those winds as it comes up over the mountains down in the valley are very dry. So humidity levels are low. Winds up to 60 to 100 miles per hour in the San Gabriel Mountains right over Los Angeles. But we could get strong winds as well coming out of the Santa Arvin area. We call it the, that's our Santa Ana, Santa Arvin winds as they come down into the Arvin area. And this would allow for extreme wildfire threat and that danger to be out there. So here are the advisories, red flag conditions. That is, well, wildfire threat is there. Sustained winds 15 to 30, could have gusts of 50 to 60, but watch for it to go up to 75, 85, 95 mile per hour wind speeds at times. A wind advisory in for our desert areas, that will kick off today at four o'clock and then it will continue into Thursday First winds are coming out of the northwest, but watch for it to shift coming out of the northeast, and that's going to be the start of where everything gets out of hand. This is that 45 to 75 mile per hour wind speeds. And look at this, the valley floor even getting some strong winds. It's that Santa Arvin winds. That should help drive up temperatures here for Bakersfield and the South Valley. So watch for blowing dust there. There's not an advisory for the valley floor, but mark my words, it's going to arrive tomorrow. I guarantee we're going to have some type of wind advisory for east side of Bakersfield. Here's the jet stream pushing down. That's the front, that's the low we've been talking about. It's gonna push down, keep the cool windy weather with us for some time, hang out through early Friday, and then we'll get some stability by the start of the weekend. Fun little note I'm gonna throw out there to you. It looks like by Monday, Veterans Day, there's a chance for showers moving through. I believe this model keeps it to the north. All right, I, I believe it stays there but I'm gonna put a potential rain coming next Monday. I don't want the rain on your vet Veterans Day Parade, just know it's out there. Positive news, sunny 70s. Negative news, strong winds are coming. Fire, wildfire threat is high. The danger there is 60 mile per hour winds. Uh, we'll be breezy tomorrow for the Valley Floor for sure. That's the warmest day. And then we stay in just basically the low 70s. Don't forget, potential rain Monday, Veterans Day. I'm really leaning against that, but I'm gonna keep it out there. The rest of the county, you can see 50s for the mountain areas, Kern River Valley, low 70s, uh, 70s and 60s for the desert spots. It's just going to be super windy in all of those zones tomorrow. That's going to be the key ingredient there. Now, I go more in depth with this, way more online. Bakersfieldnow.com, click the weather link, you'll read all about it there.